Syntax highlighting sucks. And if you've ever tried to implement it on your own website, you know that it's a giant pain sometimes to get going. There's JavaScript, there's CSS, there's all the different languages you have to support. But all of that could be going away with this incredible new technique. I saw this tweet from Adam Argall today about no pain syntax highlighting using a font and variable fonts. This is incredible. Now I'm going to link this post in the description of this video, but Heike Lafanen has figured out something truly incredible here. Leveraging open type features, they were able to build syntax highlighting built into a font. And this thing is wild. You're going to want to read this entire blog post because it's a trip. But basically, they're able to take advantage of something called open type color and contextual alternatives inside of a font to be able to color a font. And there are some caveats here, but again, you don't have to use JavaScript, you don't have to use CSS, and not only that, it actually takes care of some of the weird things that we weren't able to do with syntax highlighting before. And many of you know that if you've done syntax highlighting, it's wrapping your text in a bunch of HTML elements, applying classes, and then applying color. With this, we don't have that. You just have straight up text. And that's so cool because then you can do syntax highlighting inside of things like inputs and text areas. Those were completely impossible before because instead you had a whole bunch of markup to get your syntax highlighting. I think this is one of the most wild techniques that I've seen. And to be honest, I'm so incredibly excited about this. Now, what about the cons? Why might you want not want to use this? Well, as you can see here, making modifications to the syntax highlighter, like changing a color palette, adding more language support, and changing the look of the font requires modifying the font file. Now, if somebody's really dedicated to getting this up and working, you could make a tool online to potentially uh, create a new font automatically, programmatically, those types of things. But like they mentioned here, they used glyphs to modify the font and it only works on Mac and costs 300 euros. That's not to say that you couldn't develop something uh, to make this easier, but you know, right now, uh, just having a font with syntax highlighting is pretty much what you're going to get and having it be tuned into your theme and all that stuff might be something for the future. Another, it only works where open type is supported. Now, all major browsers do support this, but other applications, like they mentioned, PowerPoint, right, uh, does not support open type. Hey, but hey, I'm using this for websites, so that doesn't really, that doesn't matter to me personally, but it might to you. But lastly, there's kind of some weird things like JavaScript keywords inside of brackets and tags like that will be highlighted. Uh, you can't highlight comment blocks or strings between quotes, those types of things. But again, no JavaScript or HTML modifications or CSS to get this working. I, I mean, you got to weigh your alternatives here. So they go deep into how this is accomplished, including all the different letter and character variations, all of the different ways, but not only that, how the open type color attributes actually work and in depth about what exactly is going on here. So I think you should take your time and read through this blog post. Give this a look. But let me know what you think about this technique. Is this something you would use? Is this incredible or is this incredibly lame? What do you think? Me personally, I'm stoked about this. I can't imagine where this is going to go, but I think this is potentially the start of something really interesting. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.